Welcome back to this fourth and final part of the Zerg tutorial where basically we, we've started with a fresh new account in Bronze League uh, rank 99 or whatever it was 6999 uh, and we've just played as many games as possible within this four part uh, series and see how high we can go we've been using safe and solid builds game in and game out we've been reading well um, and kind of game reading is something that I think a lot of the lower leagues don't do and we've been trying to illustrate that a lot um, here for sure um, other things we've been doing well is that we've been reacting to the game a lot making sure we're scouting heavily in terms of overlords moving around lings going in and out uh, and just playing as simple as can be even though we are playing a little bit faster than I suppose a lot of you would play yourself at home but we're playing as simple as can be Starcraft is a simple game when you lay it out like this to be honest and let's continue with the final part for sure so on the last part we managed to almost lose a game actually I'm sure you guys laughed about that um, where it come very very close to losing the game and I actually screamed uh, in it as well um, but we did go all the way to playing against a high platinum player uh, and we won as well so we're going to continue now we're still in silver league I, I think the the ladder is actually in a lock process right now so i don't think we can get promoted again i'm not too sure about that uh but it doesn't matter anyway we're just going to continue with this for now let's see what we're going to do uh in terms of bills what we're going to do today obviously every time you you ladder you say to yourself what am i going to do what am i going to use um just like the other episodes, we're going to use the 14-14 against um, both races. It's the safest build there is out there, and the most comfortable build for you guys to use as well, and for you guys to get used to. Uh, against Zerg, though, I'm not sure what we'll do. We'll, we'll have to think about that when we come into it. But against the Terran, we're just going to open 14-14, uh, and especially on you know Zelnaga Caverns. Uh, on Zelnaga Caverns, it's a very, very small map, and it does, uh, to be honest, in my opinion, favor Terran. Um, and I'm sure that a lot of other pro uh, top Zerg players will agree with that too, uh, just because it's small nature uh, and the fact that, um, oh no, somebody knows this may be me, <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, sorry, um, for the middle of the map, the, the Zelnaga Towers of course uh, heavily favour uh, into um, tank pushes and any, any splash damage basically uh, for any race, even against Protoss, it's very hard for Zerg to fight. So let's go ahead and just react. I mean, initially, I think in part three, we, we decided to go ahead and be like, all right, we're going to play Muta. We actually decided, we actually had to decide in the game to play Roach uh, because our opponent was opening up for a lot heavy in terms of mech. So we may have to do that again. Uh, second overall to the natural, of course, to prevent any bunker play. Uh, as long as you can see it nice and early, you can pull three drones off, uh, have them either side of the bunker so you can actually uh, do that. Let's go ahead and scout. Uh, and when I say do that, I mean have the drones in position that you can target down the SCV on three different angles that it kind of floats around to when building the bunker. All right, let's go drone scout. Uh, small map, want to scout if it's two racks or not. Uh, because he knows that this may be me, our opponent, we may have to factor in that he might just try to cheese uh, and end the game as fast as possible uh, and try to, I guess, show me up, which would be embarrassing, I guess. Uh... I shiver at that thought. All right, so let's go into gas. And the third one into gas, go. Uh, let's check his gas, his gas. Of course, there it is. Uh, let's drone up one more time. Uh, I usually do 15, but this is okay as well. Uh, he's only in two in gas at the moment. But okay, we'll just come home now because we've seen he's taking gas, which is the most important thing there. All right, let's make sure that oval is in position so that we do not get bunker rushed. Let's pull this drone home. We can go immediately into Queen, take off gas, and, and four Zerglings. So, as soon as this spawn pull finishes, get ready. One, two, three. Queen, Lings, off gas. And there's that other one. Speed, and off gas. There's the SCV. And this drone, uh, this overlook can come around behind here or so and go check that third base out. Meanwhile, we are going to be expanding. So, let's just keep the scouting drone here. He can be the one to build the hatch. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, build that. Meanwhile, we can... Oh, we don't want to drone too much right now because we want to get that queen in uh, really fast. So let's hotkey this hatchery. Uh, oh, that's queen. And then, back. then you can drone. Now you can drone. Uh, drone a 24 and then get the overlord next. And we are going to get a third queen a lot earlier too than we did previously uh, in part three, I think that was. So let's overlord. Let's poke up. I think he's building from that um, 
full uh, marines. So could be seeing something funky, but we do have an overlord in position, so we're going to use it. All right, let's poke up again after this uh, creep spread and lava inject. And overlord uh, drone spam, not overlord spam. That'd be something if I built a lot of stuff. Okay, so he's killed a single ling, but we have two. So, and I am getting a little bit nervous with what is going on. So we're just gonna go ahead and scout. Uh, we can get an overlord next as well. Let's go ahead and find out what's going on. So let's get ready to transfer as well. Overlord to next lava. Okay. So maybe it's just maybe just build a couple of. Uh, what it could be is for... We're going to get a spine crawl anyway, and what it could be is just for a few... Oh, what's this? Oh, what is this? What is this? This is madness! Okay, so what we're going to do is literally build a lot of links. <laughs> and we got a spine crawl coming. Keep all the links here. We've got speed, so... Try to save every... Even this Zergling here is going to be useful for us. We have an overlord making, so we should be fine. And we can actually just counterattack from this as well. Um, so we just get all the lings out and we wait until he engages with the spine crawler and then we just go so just keep building lings you know what's coming because we scattered because we're good we're good we're good students we scout and then we just go now and you waypoint all your hatcheries down that's what you if you don't do that immediately you, you, that's really bad so just waypoint and build everything and get you stuff straight in man and then you can actually waypoint to his base now, and we can just go for a counterattack uh, because he doesn't have any units. And he builds bunker, so he knows he's in trouble. So build that stuff, and you notice we didn't get supply block one time. Woohoo! Um, because we were active on that, and now he's going to have to cancel this probably. We'll lift up in a second. Can't lift up, so it's cancelled. Now we can go back to Jones. We've actually got more than enough right now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no. Oh no, Jimmy. Alright, good game. Okay, good. That's what scouting does, and we read that well. Um, first of all, the, the way we did that, I'm just going to kind of summarize that a little bit for us, is that we poked up and we saw on the ramp that the barracks is building two marines. So immediately, it's like. Um, all right, what you know? What is that? Is he gonna go for two marines and then a couple of hellions, or, or not two marines, but two marines building to add to the rest? So four or five marines, a couple of hellions, and then go from there, uh, or is it gonna be like we saw? So he 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 knows who I am. He knows who I am. Let's make sure that he doesn't message us again in game. Okay, so let's just check his rank real fast. And he's top three platinum, so we're pushing towards that diamond. I don't think we're going to hit masters in this part, but we're definitely going to be hitting um, diamond, I'm pretty sure. I'm quite confident in that. So let's continue once again. But yeah, overlord sending so, so important, guys. I can't stress that. You have to get used to doing that every single game. You know, how can we play the reactionary race when we can't react and we don't know what's coming? Because if I didn't see that, I could have actually just gone lost. All right, Zerg. What are we going to do against Zerg, you may ask me. Um, <clears throat> let me think. So, I think what we're going to do is, on this map, it's okay. I'm going to I'm gonna actually just go ahead, because this is our last Zerg game. Um, not last Zerg part, sorry. Um, so, I'm actually going to go ahead and play like I would play in Master League. Uh, and I understand this is still Platinum, so... Um, the only difference is, I'm, I'm going to ask and demand a little bit more of you guys. Um, and the way I like to play it is like we did on the on the other version, on the other part, sorry again, is that we play for this hatch first and then really early defensive bailings. Uh, and we're just going to go from there. But it's going to rely on micro and control because if you don't do it well, then you can die. And if you lose your bailings early, if you let a bailing slip into a single zergling, then you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to die. Um, all right, so first of all, things you should be thinking about right now. Overlord has just passed an overlord. You, you're now going to see each other. So no matter what he does, um, you just do one better of it. If you want to kind of mirror him and get an advantage. So if he goes, for example, 12 spawning pool, you go 13. If he goes 13, you go 14. And you just get a drone edge. There's a second overlord, so we know there's lo lo not any lings building. And this game's naturally, or should naturally, just proceed out to both of us go 15 hatch. Um, simply because he now knows he sees I'm building something, so he has to build something, uh, and so on and so on. So we're actually just going to go ahead and make it 16, because nobody's playing aggressive, no gas taken, no spawning pools taken. So we're both probably just going to be hatching first here. 
Um, things to think about now, because, yeah, there goes his drone to hatch first. So, things to think about now is... He can't have speed early on. He could have bailings a little bit faster. But mostly, it's going to come down to both of us hiding what we're doing and then going for something mid-game. Um, what that is, I don't know. I really don't know. So, 17 spawn and pool. We're just going to have to scout. He should put it down now as well, probably. Yeah, there it's going to be. And I'm just going to go all the way up to like 18 supply before I get my overlord to play really, really drone heavy. It's like he doesn't expand. I'm like, what the hell is this? Okay. Um, okay, let's extract two. We're not going to get ours right yet because I want to have more minerals so I can build a bunch of queens because I want three queens. But first of all, overlord. And then my natural time is just go ahead and get that extracted now. And then you can actually just get one more drone as well. Alright, so let's move these overlords out and get them into position. I want one overlord to check for third base later on, and then we can start spreading overlords all along that middle line. So let's go ahead and transfer some down as well. And he's saving up lava too, so... Queen into gas, ling, queen, Ooh. minerals, and then we want a third queen kind of fast too, so... But meanwhile, I've just built four links, and then I'm actually just going to go back. And I'm just going to put it out there that I'm playing defensive. Um, because I like to do this every single Zerg versus Zerg. I'm putting it out there uh, that I'm going to be playing on the defensive side. Uh, I want to go for speed straight away rather than bailing us first. Simply because none of us are going to be aggressive straight away. So it gives us enough time to get speed and then the bailing nest. So you can just go straight up with that. We're going to get a third queen now as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Lava inject. Queen build and love object on the natural in like five seconds. And then just build these. Oh, get that speed as well. Very important to do so. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick off a drone. Okay, cool. And now with these lings that survive, we go ahead and scout. Meanwhile, still droning. And we check his gas, check what he's doing. Need an overlord as well, so we build an overlord. He's in gas, he's my... Oh, Roach Warren. What the hell is that for? Okay, so when we say Roach Warren, it's like we're not going bailing, so we actually take out gas now, and we're just going to go for... Um, he. I, I guess he's going to go like a really kind of fast bus, maybe, like Roachling, but we can drone up a little bit more. Um, and then, well, one more wave from this natural, and then now we just go ahead and start getting links out. Just pure links should be fine against this. Um, don't want to get supply caps, of course, so we're going to build another overlord, and we're just going to build pure links. Got a second spine crawl as well, because we've got more drones, and I expect him, because that roach one is so early, to come rather fast. I don't think he's going to play defensive, but we'll see. And links are going up there for some reason, but I don't know. I'm going to drone up again, because he's not coming right now. He's lost the element of surprise, so go ahead and deny these links. Let's drone up one more time. Okay, now it's like I'm pushing myself by joining up that much more. But I have also shown a bunch of links made, so he may not come. Um, let's go scout with these now, because we have got speed. I'm going to drone up a little bit more. And let's see now his roach count. Depending on his roach count, he's also seen, seen two spine crawls, so he shouldn't really push us. But let's see. Okay, roaches. Okay, a lot of roaches, but very minimal drones. All right, so build a bunch of links. It's coming, so uh, let's go ahead and get an evolution chain. We can get plus one as well. I'm pretty sure this is going to be coming, so... If we can maybe try and get in the main, that would be amazing. Oh, he's got a wolf. Okay, that's kind of bad. Okay, never mind. We'll set up a flank attack, and the rest is we'll just mine up. We'll even build a third spine crawler. Like, this, this, this is okay. Meanwhile, Overlord, go back into gas so we can actually go ahead and get our own roaches now as well. And just build a lot of stuff. I think he's going to be coming with a lot of stuff shortly. More links. Gonna drone up a little bit more as well because he's still not coming. Get that. Well, I'm gonna get plus one missiles. And we're in that gas. Build a couple more overlords. I'm gonna get a second gas now so we can get that roach production up. Maybe just come around and just check what's going on down here. If he is droning, which I think he is now. Yeah, he's droned up a little bit more. Still got a lot, a lot of roaches though, guys. So I'm just gonna build even more stuff. And we can go to layer, <coughs> and we can start bringing our own roaches out now. But well, we don't have that much gas, so I still think he's going to be coming for us. He's gunning, man. He's got our head in the crosshair. So uh, drones are a little bit too many on the main. Okay, here it comes. 
Oh, with Banelings too. Okay, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. LOL. Um, <laughs> let's get your roaches out. Okay, so yeah, he's pretty much all in. We got so many more drones than he has. Uh, we're gonna have to use the spine crawlers and try to just fly with links for now. I didn't think about this. If you can try to target some bailings down, of course, that's amazing. And pull back into the spine crawls when it comes with bailings. I think he lost all his bailings, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, did okay, drone up again now. Get uh, roach speed. Get your gases. Go into this gas properly, and that's that's it. Drone up now. Okay, that's it. And then we just launch a counter attack because he's got no money, right? Okay, get roach speed. Get plus two when we can. You can get a third base because you've got a lot of money now, and that's it. That's it. Oh, you're so bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm sorry. I'm bad. Into the gas over here and into the main. Yeah, that's 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 fat lady singing. Fat lady singing. Unfortunately for this guy. All right. So I hope that was uh, well read for for you guys as well. You you kind of followed me through that and you could see exactly what he was doing. Um, good. See Roche well that early, obviously something's wrong, no drones, checking the drone count, so on, so on. Alright, another high platinum. And now we are currently rank, 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 rank 1 in silver. Okay, so top 3 platinum. Let's continue with this. This is the cool part, part 4 is the cool part. And uh, of course I will be doing that Protoss and, and Terran one shortly as well. So you guys out there, or I don't know, should, I don't even know if I should say that because maybe the Terran and Protoss one's already out. Uh, I don't think so though. Uh, third and fourth part is coming out for Zerg and then of course the Terran and Protoss. So you Terran and Protoss players, fans, we will be helping you guys out as well, walking you guys through. Same process. Now let's uh, see how this goes. Hope you're enjoying these videos. It's cool to do. It's cool to do. And uh, we haven't lost the game throughout these four parts. And I've got another, what, half an hour left? Uh, Alright, Zerg vs. Zerg. If you've watched every single part, we talked about this uh, map in Zerg vs. Zerg before. Uh, it's not a hatch first map or anything like that. So, like we just did on, uh, on that previous game where we went hatch first, it's not viable here. Because there is no ramp. There is nothing to wall off with if it gets sticky. He can run by very, very easily. So, basically what this uh, comes into is gas, then swan and pull. Pretty much every single game. Uh, and if your opponent goes hatchery first, that's when you uh, pile the pressure on. So, that's pretty much the goal for this map. So we're going to go like the same build as versus Terran and Protoss now. We're just going to go 14-14, but more or less, well, not kind of safe and, and solid. We're just, just going to go hard and solid aggressive. don't even know if that's a word or sentence, whatever. Okay. All right, so up to 10. Okay. We are going to scout on 12 because it's a big map um, and I just would prefer you guys to get into the habit of doing it even though like I don't, I'm like, I don't want to scout on 12. I prefer the extra minerals. It's, it's a good habit you get into, especially in the lower leagues because that five minerals, you know, I can capitalize on it a lot more than, and well not really, it's not even five, so not that John, it's like, you know, 50. <laughs> but I can capitalize on that a lot more uh, than you guys can. Uh, but at this low level, you definitely should be going ahead and scanning really. It, it just, like we talked about, every single game we played in the entire of the parts, scouting is so important. And when you have scouted, you can react, you can win the game. So if we scout a six pool, we know that we don't need to go into the gas, uh, for example. Uh, we know that we just get ready to go ahead and, and get these zerglings out as fast as possible uh, and then save our lava and so on and so on. So he's not close. Well, bottom close. Bottom close. Derp, derp. Alright. Okay, overlords. Okay, drone scout. So. I have a feeling that he's top left. 
um, because that drone was really early and I don't well it's it's coming to the base kind of fast and I don't think he's gonna be cross position so we'll see we'll see I, just, I have that feeling that's what happens if uh, he tries to mess with me okay so Let's just stay in gas because we he lost a scanning drone as well, so that's really bad for him. Sucks to be you. I think he's expanding. Let's check check now if he's taking out of gas. No, okay, so he's still in gas. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and throw Oh, I missed my queen. Oh my god. Uh the bailing nest is gonna come down. Now. And you don't need three in gas to build a lot of bailing, so I'm gonna take one out and then we're just gonna drone up like two more times because we missed the queen, so I expect these to be links, so yeah. Still no Bailey Nest. He's still in gas, and he's probably just waiting for me to get out with the drone. So let's go ahead now and uh, overload up because we can get ready to lava inject and then spend all that money in links. Either way, he didn't build a bailing nest. I did. And it's just outside of the overload range, because I think it's like here. So I think that should have been okay. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and grab this uh, expansion now too. Yeah. Try not to lose the bait links, it's what I'm basically doing right now. Sorry, I'm, I might not speak. I'm like, I refuse to speak to you people. Okay, let's go. Drones! Oh, I don't even think I got that many. Distract from the banelings and then come back to the banelings. No, 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 you're not doing that, son. Uh, we just need another queen. Okay, okie dokie. Oh, I've lost some guys behind, so I'm just gonna grab all these first, and then we can go. We require more minerals. I don't know why he's trying to fight without um, bailings. It's kind of weird. Don't you think? Oh. Oh well. Yeah, I see he actually got... No, he hasn't got plus one, I don't think, yet. But yeah. Unfortunately, that CVZ, when you play on this map, you can't use roaches, unfortunately. If you try roaches, you just get overrun with zerglings, so... Oh, we broke a diamond player! Finally! Congratulations! I like clapping myself like a loner in my bedroom, but never mind. Um, broke a diamond player, even though it's like mid... Or what was he, 69 or something? Yeah. Kind of low, but... We broke a diamond player, which is excellent. I can rename the folder. No longer gold and platinums. We beat a diamond player. Woohoo! <clears throat> Alright, 
So in four parts, we've gone from bronze to diamond. Yay. I doubt we'll get masters though, but it's good. We got this far. Yes. Yes, high five yourselves. All right, let's continue with this. I can't believe he didn't go banelings. It's so weird to try to fight like that without a banelings. It's like impossible. Unless he has better micro than me, which isn't that hard to be honest. But um, it's so difficult. Ling only versus Ling baneling. You know, you ask him for trouble. So it, it's it's weird. It's weird. All right, so it's good luck, have fun because I haven't done that a lot. And actually, somebody pointed that out. I'm sorry. Um, Okay, let's go ahead and scout. Uh, on this map, scout up north first, and then go right. Um, reason? I don't have one. Simple as that. Uh, we're gonna basically. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. This map is. We're, we're gonna go hatch first. We're gonna. We're gonna. You know, raise this, raise my standards. I'm gonna push myself to be more defensive. So we're gonna go hatch first, and we're gonna go um, for like defensive bailings again. The, the distance for the ramp isn't that bad here, and it's, it is wide on the natural area for like links to run by and stuff, but still, you can have the same strategy process of bailing on top of the ramp, bailing in the mineral line, bailing at the front of your hatchery, even though run bys are, hard, are harder for us to stop, um, you know, that's something that we got to work around and get bailings moving a lot, you can't have them waiting to detonate, you have to get them moving. Um, like we said, if he decides to six pour or something, we have to can cancel the hatchery immediately, and we have to draw micro and keep them alive for as long as possible until our spawning pool finishes. Okay, drone scout. That's gonna be okay. Cool tip. Pull the drone to the edge of the ramp, and then go. <laughs> I mean, he could have turned around, but like even then, it's it's difficult to turn around like a split second. Then you might not even be looking either. Um, so players may actually try to actively deny that hatchery, and it gets annoying. So, and if I actually if he if that would lined up more like actually perfectly, I didn't actually have the money to build the hatch straight away. But if I had, then it would have looked actually more badass because he actually could have just cooled down, and come down with me, <laughs> and stopped me doing that. It's kind of funny. All right, let's go ahead and drone some more. And then at this mark now is when we go 17 supply for the extractor immediately, and then overload next, uh, so that we can go ahead and, and get that 50 gas we talked about, depending on what he's done. Um, the reason why I haven't drone scouted is I know somebody asked that. Um, the reason why I haven't done it, and you probably your name's probably Tim as well or Matt probably ask that um, basically because my overlords are going to scout if he's aggressive and then I'm just going to use my links um, so let's go into the gas like my overlords will show me if links come from this way or something and I think he's top right anyway so all right queen links uh, and then we pull oh, I forgot to pull that guy down need a guy down here immediately to go ahead and build since I don't see aggression or he hasn't come yet I'm just gonna build a queen first instead of links uh, from the lava and now we out of gas with two as we approach 50 still let's go ahead and just get two more links again because we don't know if he is playing aggressive and I'm gonna drone now I think he's yeah top right yeah so let's move the overlords into position now and because we he's top right and we see that he's not coming with us, we can happily draw. Uh, and I'm going to leave these guys with defensive bailings if something crazy does happen. We can morph them really fast. And actually talking about defensive bailings, my bailing nest is late. Oopsie daisy. Never mind. It looks like he's going to be cool. Let's go. He's probably hatched. Oh no, okay. This is something uh, I'm worried about. Uh, build units. Spine crawler. Don't understand that. Don't understand it. Third queen. Uh, not from that. Let's get this overlord to spot if he's doing anything funky. Uh, yeah, should be okay. Run it overlord up. Uh, I think I got enough now to deal with this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drone. Unless you see more stuff coming down. Yeah, that's fine. He tries to run by, we just follow. Uh, let's move some bailings. Still, he hasn't come as he hasn't expanded. Sorry, not that he hasn't come. He hasn't expanded, which is what we should be looking at. Like, why? What is the reason behind that? Oh no! Let's actually let these guys come in. We require more minerals. 
So I'm just going to drone up a little bit more, and then I'm going to start building a bunch of links. Oh, that's why. Okay, so I'll use your two bay links. Uh, sacrificial links. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. And now we join up harder now, because uh, that happened. Okay, he's still building stuff towards... Okay, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't have joined up right then, but yeah. Let's get another... Oh, he's going to kill a lot of links now, I think. I mean, a lot of drones. It's okay. What I want to try and do with my money, which I should have enough to do with now, is... Uh, stop the bailings outside, sorry, and get a roach run up. Doing fine. Uh, Overlord, of course. Going to the gas room. We're drawn up again because I'm a naughty guy. Let's take a second gas because I'm an even naughtier guy. And we've got two spine calls now. And another Overlord. And there's his expansion. Okay, cool. We're ahead. We're miles and miles ahead. Spine crawlers. Probably going to try and put them on the edge of the ramp if possible because that will stop bailings coming in. Meanwhile, I'm just going to join up, because he's not building units, he's definitely joining right now. He's expanded, we got a roach warren, build a few roaches as well to really put him off. And we can use this queen now to actually effectively creep spread, and yeah. What are we going to do now, because we've got a cool advantage, we're just going to go up for a lair, like now. We could have done it a little bit early, but I wanted to be sure that we had enough drones and a good economy going, and we're still 100% safe. We're a little bit heavy in drones in the main, so let's go ahead and transfer down. And use these overlords effectively. Like, there's nothing coming in here now. We're, like, super, super safe. Uh, let's go into the gases. And drones are good, too. So I'm just going to build four lings, uh, four roaches just in case, like, something doesn't happen, like, in that previous part <laughs> where we did, like, get in a lot of trouble. And we can probably throw down just an additional spine crawler because to us right now... Um, Get speed as well too, sorry, uh, link speed. To us right now, minerals don't matter that much to us, so we can get that additional spine crawler, simply because that um, we're teching up, right? So we don't need minerals as much. As you can see, we already have a lot of excess minerals, so we can even throw down that uh, macro hatch. Let's go see what's going on. Gas is taking rather fast. Drone count is low. Okay, good. All the signs we want to be seeing right now. Let's get an overseer and go check if he's rushed up to lair, which he probably has. Meanwhile, let's pull that queen in. We can use that queen just to creep spread and then use it to macro. Okay, let's get this queen down. We can take a fifth. Uh, fifth. I did it again. Third base. Let's go ahead and see what's up. So, Roach, Evo Chamber, Infestation Pit. Okay, um, should we continue with Spire? Uh, probably yes. Because we're, we're, we're already expanding faster than he is, plus he's not going to have that much energy and that much gas himself to spend efficiently into a, a Infestors. And even if we lose, we can tech switch out. we got a Roach Warren. Uh, we can throw down an Evo Chamber now once I spread these Overlords. Um, so, yeah. Go into these bases now and let's get ready to uh, get this stuff out. Use your links you built to go kill the rocks just to pressure him. Think, like, what the hell? Spread. Okay, so mute of time. And uh, excess minerals. Guess what? We're expanding, so let's drone. And he knows now, too, so. Uh, oh. No. Uh, get carapace for the ground, because um, basically in the fights, um, I want roaches and links just to survive that a little bit longer, so they can tank damage ready for the mu uh, for the muters just to maximize their damage output. Straight into the gas is very important, and let's start killing stuff around the map. 
and then we can go back to unit production. Because right now he's defensive, right? He hasn't got a third base, we have, so I'm really happy with the position we're in. As long as we don't lose to a really fast bust or something. So get roach speed as well, get more overlords, get your muters, and just go around causing havoc. Okay, good. You can actually take a hidden base too. Like, there's no lore against it. You, you've got an overseer you can snipe uh, creep tumors with too. Cool tactic. Just, oh, that's kind of bad. But he hasn't got enough to kill you, so it's okay. You can get out alive and they repair. Well, heal is the correct term, so. Alright, just build a bunch of stuff. And your goal right now as a, as a muter player is to take control of the map, which we are, and also spread out your overlords, which we are. And, okay, so that's fine. Just. Max out. Just max out whatever way you want. Lings, muters, whatever. Because at the end of the day, he's on two base, and I don't care if he comes at us with a big army, because ours is going to be bigger, and we have the capability to remax as well. So I'm just going to build roaches now. Okay, look, you know, he's got so many infestors without energy, I have no idea why the decision would be to kill a couple of overlords with all that energy. It's such a bad choice. Um, you know, I... <laughs> You guys should understand, basically, because yeah, that's meant to be energy and killing me and my muters, but okay. Sniper Queen and just come out, because he's very locked up right now, so I don't expect to achieve much results in terms of harassment, so don't throw your units away or whatever, just get results in other areas, which is expanding, which is maxing out which is at the end of the day gonna put us ahead you know spend the excess gas you've got and I'm just gonna grab some drones to transfer as well spend the excess gas you've got and upgrades you know you can tech now to whatever you want we can throw a hydrogen down we've got a hive we've got ultras we got ultras let's go ultras let's go there's infestation put you know we've got so much ground stuff that he just can't break us and he hasn't expanded so always 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 make sure that he hasn't expanded that is and okay okay so he's trying to get this now he kind of has enough to kill the muters now so we just use links to go like attack into those infestors we'll go shortly uh, in a minute we'll go to hive okay or, or let's, let's poke in let's see if we can snipe the infestation pit as he's going to be busy over here And then come in with a flanking links. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, dead. Oh no. Oh. Ah, got stuck. And my links died on the front. Alright, never mind. Smacks out with roaches now. We just tech out. Oh well. Goodbye. But that's what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when you have the entire of the map. There's like nothing he can do, unfortunately. Even if he, you know, he still hasn't taken anything, he's now gonna push, being like, Sup, son, you know, I killed all your muters, what do you have now? Oh, wait, <laughs> what's this about? Alright, so just pull all your stuff off and deal with it. Alright, let's get rid of these uh, lings and then we'll deal with these infestors. Oh, I guess that's a little bit frustrating, but it only prolongs the inevitable, unfortunately. Let's get rid of these infestors first, because they're the most annoying. The lings can do whatever they want. Fight my queens. Ah, uh, he's got so many lings, because he's just literally not got any gas. <laughs> uh, did the lings survive? Yeah. Alright. Let's clean this out and then go kill him. Ah. <sighs> It's like getting the trash or the rubbish, throwing it in the bin. What's <laughs> that was cool? You see the little bailing attack? That was funny. All right, let's go. Time to go. Uh, I want my ultras though, didn't I? I promised ultras. Yeah, and like amongst that fight, you, I, you can just easily send over your units to this base as well, and you can go build your hatchery again now, and maybe just build a couple of spine calls in case of anything like that. And Bob's your uncle, as they say. Maybe not for a majority of these people watching, but yeah. 
upgrade to zero zero for the roaches. Despite infestors, these are two one with carapace. We can get the other ones. Yeah. Lost all my queens like everywhere. And this isn't even hotkeyed up. Alright, so um, that game, literally, uh, well, this game, should I say, is, you know, he's on two base. What can he possibly do against us? We've taken the entire of the map. You know, we've actually gone up to ultras um, because we could, uh, and so on and so on, because we've taken the map. That's how to play Mutalus play. If, if, so, if he tucks up the fens, don't throw away Mutalus early on, don't dedicate all your resources to them, just go ahead and take your advantage somewhere else. Which is, in this case, upgrades and supply count, and, and of course, taking that fourth base. So, let's go ahead and play another game. This is another diamond player we did beat, and let's see what we can We haven't actually played a Protoss player for a while in either part, part three or four, I think. It's been a lot of Zerg vs. Zerg and a lot of Zerg vs. Terran, I think. That was funny, though. The bailing attack at the end. That was funny. The bailings in the main base that come rolling from the side, and... Uh, Stop trying to blow my Evo chambers up. Alright, another Zerg. So let's play exactly the same. Or maybe I should show a different style. Let me think. Um, I've shown over the course of four parts. I've shown 1414. I've shown Roach Expand. I've shown um, Spawning Pool Extractor Expand for, for Link Speed Fast. I've shown Hatchery First Defensive Bailings. So we'll probably just play the, the Hatchery First again. Uh, and teach you guys how to d Ooh, defend. Alright, so once again, we'll send that overload to the top right, or top left, sorry, and then the other one the other way. But time is running out. We only have, like, I think, this game and potentially one more afterwards uh, before we have to close this part up, and that'll be the end of the Zerg tutorial. We've gone all the way from bottom of bronze to diamond. Um, so to help you guys out through the low levels, I think hopefully we've achieved that within this uh, four part series. Alright, let's go ahead and get this overload. What you can do at this stage of the game, which I haven't done now, and I haven't done any in any of the games really, is because there's a lot of dead space, right? There's a lot of dead time while we're waiting for drones to produce and overloads to come out. You can pair up the drones, um, you know, drone to drone, like this for example. Like, put that one there, then grab this one and put him there as well. And then all of a sudden they're mining from both of the close patches really close to you. So these two drones there that are highlighted. That's a cool tip as well for you guys. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and scout across. You scout straight up to this base and the other overload goes in that pattern. That, like, not pattern, but that pathway. Because if he has expanded in the bottom right, we're going to see the links come. And if he's expanded at the north, we're going to see that too. But he's in the bottom right because there's his first overload. So we can go ahead and just pull the one at the top left down already. All right, so the the disadvantage we've got in these spawning positions compared to his, his kind of location is he can see that we've hatched first before we have a, a clue, and just by his overlord scout. So, but the thing we can do now is we can see that if any links come immediately, we can just cancel, bam, and just go back into our base. Okay, so now he knows. We require more minerals. Let's go ahead. Uh, Drone up. Drone three times after the spawning pool in this build. And then next is grab the extractor so you get a nice and early uh, 50 gas. And I saw the drone on the right hand side. You don't want to let him just go ahead and build a spine crawler or whatever. So we might just double check. Okay, it's just there. It's fine. That's absolutely perfect. And we just lava, uh, overload and then the drone comes out again. Just wanted to double check. You know, we don't still know exactly what's going on. One, two, and three. So get ready to pull down a drone, single drone for the spine crawler, queen links, and another set of links, and then we just go ahead and spine crawl straight away because we don't know what's going on. And we can just drone one more time, pull out a gas now, and we're gonna get that bailing nest down a lot faster. I made that mistake actually. And I don't know what that spine crawl is for. Um, so we go ahead and just get a couple of links. Get that queen now as well. 
Okay, so the, basically the reason why I said I don't know about spine curls for is because it's just a spine curl. There's no lings I can see on the minimap that are coming. So it like doesn't make sense for me when I see that. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and, and join up now. Oh, he left his overload. That's cool. Um, a lot of uh, overload, sorry, because we're about to reach that supply. And uh, Bailing S is finishing soon, so we can use these two Bailings for, I mean, two links for Bailings. Meanwhile, we're droning because he hasn't come to us. All right, it hasn't expanded. Already we know that we need to defend. That looks like that's upgrading, right? So it looks like we're going to be seeing roaches, plus one roaches. So get out of gas. Do not morph Bailings. Build another spine crawler. Drawn up just a couple more times because I don't think that was roaches then, was it? Okay, it was. So build your, build your links now. I was going to say, if that wasn't roaches right now, then you, you don't need to do anything. Make sure that you do have an overlord to see if he expands. And we do, what we do need to get, actually, sorry, is uh, uh, link speed. So let's go ahead and just get that now. Uh, we can probably drone up because links without speed are pretty useless, really, <laughs> against what's coming. Just like plus one... Um, roaches so now we got the gas now we get out and we get that upgrades now and we just keep a lot of injecting he hasn't expanded right so as long as we defend we win so just bling up and then when we do defend it even if he has a high drone count on those we're gonna we, he still can't maximize from it so we just need need to need to need to defend so that's all we're gonna do here we're gonna build the spine put the spine calls on the edge uh, and we can go ahead and actually just build one more spine crawl touching the hatchery, just in case he runs by. Uh, ideally, we want to get surrounds with the lings uh, against the roaches that have come, and then hold them next to the um, spine crawls. Though he still hasn't come, so I'm actually just going to be a little bit cheeky and just build a round of drones, like four four drones or so, just to push us up. Okay, he's coming now, so let's let's ling up now again. And I do have an overlord, please. Yeah, I do have an overlord coming. But yeah. Let's go ahead and just build another overlord because that one's about to pop. Oh, I have to build another overlord as well. And let's hide these links and then we get a surround hopefully if he comes close enough. But link speed's about to be done. And he still hasn't expanded, so. We can actually go ahead and counter attack after this as well, just with links. Unless he morphs them to bay links, which could be difficult, but no, it's fine. Oh, it doesn't happen very often. Alright, let's just go get surrounds. And then I drawn up. Even though I said we can go counter attack, just drawn up. We're more than enough, even with this plus one. Okay, good. Drawn up, and that's it. That's how to beat this guy. Drawn up, and that queen's gonna die for killing my overlords. It's not acceptable. And I just drawn up, and basically you just get yourself even further ahead. You can actually build nothing but links, but just in the off chance that he is somehow whatever <laughs> in case he is we can just you know just play safe and join up behind I, I don't even care about running links into this we can tech up now as well into gas and go to layer soon and we're actually cost effectively not killing stuff there <laughs> so we'll probably come back now just set up a flank or whatever for when he comes again which he should do as he still hasn't expanded uh overlord again drawn up now we got a nice drone count again or we never i mean again but yeah uh, we can get a Roach Warren, just to fight Roach versus Roach, of course. Uh, and he still hasn't expanded. Just keep the overlord there so you can check the expansion and check if he comes, because that's something we don't really have sight of, because he killed the overlords in the middle. Drone it one more time. No more drones. I've got to lay it. The uh, reason why we got no more drones because we're actually at a really comfortable mark, and there's an expansion. Okay, so let's check if he's, like, gone for... Lair, because that wasn't late expansion, right? He's got a plan in mind. So, if he's gone for lair, he's probably over uh, for roach speed and tunneling claws, which could cause us problems. And there's a bailing nest, okay? So, he's actually just gonna go ahead and use bailing uh, roach bailing against us, I think. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So, we just re use roaches off our own now, get a couple more overlords because we're about to sacrifice one. Do not let these roaches get away. I did see them before, but we'll get that now. And yeah, more units. Low, low drone count, and we just use our own roaches now. Yeah, and then we can use this flank attack as soon as he pushes out, which is going to be very shortly. And uh, even though I'd like to go mules or whatever, it's just better to go roaches. We can get roach speed straight away. Even though we haven't got an upgrade, it doesn't matter. We're going to have sheer quantity, 
of stuff, and I'm sure he's coming now, so flank attack goes in. Kill the queen, assassinate the queen, and then just go ahead and kill the hatchery next. There's your flank. There's his small, small army, and he's confused what to do. He's going to come anyway. Uh, yeah, he's coming anyway, so just get this roach count up nice and high. Kill the hatchery. Get ready to accept this. Ooh. So Ling's on two, Bailing, uh, Roach is on one, Ling's on two, one, two, and then wait until the Bailing's die and then go in with two, four, the other, yeah, yeah, and join up again. Now you can go Spire, take the gas, or whatever. Okay, GG. All right, let's do a final game and then we'll end up this uh, four-part series. Of course, the final part, the final series, the final game, last game, and let's just double check if that guy was Diamond. He should have been um, Wilson. Oh, okay, he's in Platinum. Okay, so high Platinum. High Platinum Diamond. Just, okay. So let's go ahead and play this final game. Let's see what we get. And then we're going to be done with this fourth part of Zerg tutorial. Basically, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. That's the most important thing for me right now. Uh, and I'm sure you guys have so far. The, the feedback and the comments from you guys have been amazing. Thank you for your support. Tell your friends about these videos. They don't play Zerg. Make them play Zerg. We're here for the swarm in these videos. Let's go into the final game. Do some finger clicking actions. Oh yeah. Do some press ups with my fingers. Got my dumbbells on the floor. If you don't have dumbbells, so you should buy some dumbbells for your fingers. I use mouse weights. All right. Player found. Let's go into this. Let's do this. And it's a Protoss. We finally found a Protoss player. So let's go ahead. And it is on Algo Cam. It's not the best map for us, but. This is my favorite map to illustrate scouting. Really, really is. Okay. And the reason for it is because we can go in between the main and natural with our first overlord. Um, so let's go ahead and just say good luck. Have fun. All right. First overlord in between here because he can't get a stalker out in time. I'm actually going to go ahead and do this drone pairing that we talked about in the last video. Just grab a drone. Pair them up, grab a drone, pair them up. Eat all oh, that. The other one didn't actually pair up well. Guess that guy is not welcome to pairing and sharing. All right, there we go. Go them there. He does not want to share, does he? Look at this guy up here. Get back on there. There we go. Force him. All right. Um, do we drone scout in this matchup? No, or not on this map. Um, because it is a s oh, I'm just going to throw it out the window. I was going to say because it is a small map, we can just presume that it's going to be normal. Alright, whatever. I'm going to 12 drone scout for you guys. We have to scout. You have to do it. I'm doing it. You're doing it. We got to scout if he's got a forge, a double gateway, no gas. We're going to do it together. I don't like to do it, but we'll we'll do it. 14 extractor is the 14th drone, not the 14th supply in the top right. Even though we're at 14 supply now, it's not 14 spawning ports. We're going to use the 14th drone. So I'm going to use grab this guy because basically it keeps your drone pr production consistent, which is important for our economy, of course. And then we drone up. Okay, so what's this going to be? Forge fast expand by the looks. Nexus first. Are you going to be brave? You want to do that against me? You s Looks like it's just going to be for a forge, but what we're going to do is we're going to play aggressive against it. Oh my god, he's not. He's doing Nexus first on the last game of this series. He's got Nexus first versus me. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. So we're just going to go ahead and play aggressive. And there's a forge, okay. So we'll try and hide it as best as we can. I mean, we all going for speed really, really early, so he's not going to really see what's going on. So let's just go ahead and queen four lings. And then we'll keep this all here. In terms of aggression, I think we're just going to go for roaches. Or maybe we can use bailings. I don't know. I don't mind too much. Either's okay. And he's sending the drone, the probe away. Check this overall to see if it actually comes home. And then we'll go ahead and uh, expand. Because we do want to still expand. And then we'll maybe go back into gas. I don't see the probe on the minimap. Did you? All right, so let's throw down the roach one and get into gas. Aha! 
Let's expand, because there's the probe checking. And then we will cancel this hatch very, very shortly. We require more minerals. Okay. It is dead. It is dead, and speed is going to be done, so... <laughs> Alright, let's hope this works. Alright, overload up. And four roaches is fine. And then the rest is just going to be speedlings. Well, maybe we can just get around one more, actually. We can do five. I don't actually all in very often, by the way. If you may tell. As you can see, I'm at supply camps. Alright, that's enough. That's enough. I don't know how this is going to work. But we'll see. I'm going to try and target down that cannon, of course. Uh, I think I have another overload in production. Yeah. Okay, cool. Da -da. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? We're going to find out together. Two cannons. Oh, I sent a probe on the left. Okay, never mind. It's already coming. <laughs> Grab all your links. Got a frame rate drop. He knows. He knows by now. Looks like Zolts, is it coming out? Oh, he's got three cannons, so he's quite well prepared. Oh, frame rate drop at the last possible second. I can't micro well. <laughs> kill the pylon, everybody is screaming in the video, so let's kill the pylon. Love inject again, and then get this last big wave down. Okay, that should be GG. Nobody Nexus first me. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, GG. Alright. Nobody Nexus first against me. I did have frame drops though, so I kind of lagged out a little bit. But there we go. Diamond player that finishes up. And that is the end of this four part tutorial of Zerg. Within these four parts, it, it, it's a pretty much less than four hours because they're not all an hour video. And we have gone from the bottom of bronze to fighting against diamond players. And we've just worked up and up and up. We've had a 100% win rate record. We haven't dropped a single game. We've talked through mindsets, um, game reading, how to play, um, and just basically everything you need to be a good player to advance through in StarCraft 2 as a Zerg player. Uh, I think I covered a lot of different areas, and through my, uh, you know, through my first-hand playing, we've in we encountered, you know, real-time problems. Um, you know, I've almost lost games. We we've scouted heavily together. We've gone into everything together. You've held my hand. You know, you've held my hand throughout this. So I hope you enjoyed this four-part series. And I'm gonna be doing Protoss and Terran ones as well. So don't worry about that. I will do four parts for each of them as well. And I really do hope you've enjoyed my series. Please sub to my channel. Tell your friends about it. They want to learn StarCraft. That's what these videos are for to help you newer people out uh, into StarCraft too. So thank you very much for watching my videos. This has been D Apollo, and good night.